hello it's Sarah and today I thought I'd go over a few things with you guys I think I've got a few new subscribers who have not maybe seen my previous videos and I would suggest if you're interested in a technique that I'm doing or you know whatever I'm doing interest you go back and check my older videos because I tend to go away and come back to different um, things that I'm working on so um, that being said I did just want to touch on a few things I've been getting a little a few questions here and there and what started me on my whole polymer clay journey was Laurie Micah and I have her book <clears throat> mixed media mosaics um, took a class with her at a bead fest believe it or not um, anyway it's just snowballed from there and I mean that really introduced me to YouTube as well and mixed media in general um, I was a painter for years and um, was ready to try something new I, I you know I'd been there done that with the painting so now I'm starting to bring my painting back into this art form into clay and with the mixed media and bringing other mediums in as well so um, I did a little bit of paper crafting and I mean I'm, I know I'm repeating myself here for those of you who've watched my videos but um, I and I like paper crafting I think it's great but for some reason I come back to the clay a lot and I think it's the dimensionality of it um, not that you know I mean to each his own but something about it is it's just stuck with me and um, so I wanted to share what I use the clay for, what I do with the clay. Now, you can always sculpt and make things, and I've done that. Um, Christy Friesen is a great sculptor, and I done, I've done the steampunk stuff. That's Kirby, I mean Kiwi. Um, again, look back through my videos, and you'll see uh, lots of things that I've done. But uh, what I was using, so yesterday when I did my tutorial on stamping on clay right here's my tiles I also ended up making a bunch of filler tiles with the uh, white gold glitter the yellow gold glitter and the opal now look at this opal this is kind of it's almost a transparent clay but it has let me zoom in a little Kiwi's trying to eat it hopefully it'll um, focus and what I did was I just kept the clay in its natural state I didn't do anything to it cut it into little pieces and these are what Lori Michael likes to call grout strips right so that they're just basically a filler tile then you know so you have this pretty she uses um, gold leafing so here on this piece this is gold leaf that I put on top of I think brown clay um, you can embed jewelry into the clay. She fills in little gaps with seed beads and bugle beads. Uh, another piece of jewelry. So these are wings that I just cut, uh, cut from a stamp and filled in. I've never done anything like this before where I actually, because generally I would just make that into a square, this, the wing. But I love the way she turned out this so I've kept this one and then I just another question I got was the boxes that I use and these are um I'm gonna come back to my tiles don't worry these I believe are from AC Moore and they're a dollar and I consider this like a chipboard or I'm um, not chipboard I'm sorry what is that called it, it's basically a pine a very cheap pine wood that they use and they're a dollar so um I use these. These have all been, this has been gessoed. I, sometimes when I don't have anything better to do, I'll just gesso some stuff. So now this just needs to be sanded. And then I prepped one this morning. I did, because I'm going to, I decided to try. Lori always likes to, be, to put, if you look behind it, there's gold paint in the, in the cracks. Because then you see that through the tiles. And it's just rich. It's really pretty. But I decided to try, since these tiles, I'm going to do this, um, I'm going to make a project with the pieces that I just made yesterday. I'm going to try anyway. And I decided to try it with black. Actually, I made this pearl. I used 
this pearlizing medium and black paint and this isn't true black this is called ivory black and I don't know why I bought it or I just had it in my stash and it's a nice thick body paint decided to mix the two of those together one to one and I base coated this box um, and so it's got a pearlescence to it so you can see that sheen um, and I did the inside with gold and this is just a gold metallic by DecoArt dazzling metallics glorious gold and so that's basically it I put little feet on here um, it was already like this or I mean like I said those other ones don't have feet but this one had them so I just based two sides of the feet gold and that's it I'm not gonna fuss too much with it and this time I think I'm gonna put tiles all the way around it let me see if see that's a little big but I've never I've only ever done a painted surface on the box itself and put tiles on the very top but this time I think I want to try it with I'm um, gonna put tiles on the sides too and just see I, I really think that's gonna look cool now oh here's another box that's been prepped it's been sitting and it was because at the time I had these cool Mickey Mouse tiles or I'm sorry buttons buttons are another thing that you can embed into the clay if they're plastic be careful because they could melt um, so I don't tend to bake them when it's plastic I make an imprint in the clay remove it bake it and then glue it on after it's been baked um, and so this was a design that I was going for at the time and then I kind of just put it away um, you know Christmas happened whatever whatever and you know so I just went like that and stuck it to the side maybe my mixed media came in you know um, all right let me go back to what I was saying so in order to do this you really do need a quite a nice selection of tiles and by that I mean um, anything that really anything it, anything goes and that's what I love about this it's the mixed media part of it right so it could be just straight clay with an impression in it you know um, it could be a word that I stamped into that love um, a jewelry piece or a finding of some type it doesn't have to be specifically for jewelry it could just be a bead cap you know these are just super cute I forget how much they were but I probably used a coupon because I couldn't resist and I'm kind of thinking the, this little guy might ha have a spot on this uh, box we'll see um, so what I'm doing now is to do this project I'm gonna start to gather up supplies or I'm sorry other tiles that will play with this these that I made yesterday the ones that I did with my stamp stamping on um, clay so I also found this was another stamp stamped on clay piece it won't fit on my box but I just wanted to show you that I did this a whole nother day and I'll show you my stash of this is my stash of painted tiles my son's gonna come home in a minute I think and this is just on one day I just stamped a bunch of stuff onto white clay painted it and put it in here and so this I have now to to go through rummage through and find things that are going to go with my project which I've done and these are some that I've pulled from different places and mostly this is a Lori Micah style is when she does this geometric type stuff and these I've already painted this is done and I just pulled them because I think they would play nicely because I tend to use the same colors of paint when I paint they're just my palette at the moment so all of these would play and go right along with now these are even done with mica powders but it's still going to be okay there's a rim on this one that's the black and white check so I thought I had some of these black and white checked ones so I, of course I pulled them in um, music notes I love music well you know music notes are just a happy sweet thing and that this happens to be pink and it would play nice so you never know because when I'm creating this I only have this three by three is it 
about a three by three space. And I'm going to need little filler tiles, things that can fit. Like I'll try to start with as many of the big guys as I can. Like I don't even know if I'm going to put be able to put this big guy on here. Like maybe half of him. So let's see. Anyway, I'll get to that. But you're going to need little filler tiles. So like these. I love, um, let's see, even a bigger one. Like you could just go big like that. I mean, this is just so exciting for me, you guys. Like, I really, really get happy when I can do this. Now, look, here's a piece of this gold. And if you have a spot, you know, you can just fill it with that. I mean, it's it might, then I could even put bling on that, or I'll come back at the very end and put liquid pearls on it. You can, it just never ends. You can keep embellishing till the cows come home. So... I just wanted to show that these are another option um, then so this is all going to be put together for me to use in on this project that's what I tend to do is start to create a little stash so this one for instance this is all princessy stuff so I you know, oh, and these, I want to make some more, I need to get more white clay is what I need. Um, this is the applique technique that I was showing. Oh, well, you have to go back in my videos, but this would go along with the project I'm, I'm going to do. Birds and bugs and flowers. So kind of a garden theme, right? This would totally go. It's a music with in pink. But it also goes, see here's the gold leafing. This is the gold leafing, a gold button. Now this is a princess theme, so that's why, you know, these are plastic buttons. But flowers go with a princess. A little frog, so I had, I ha had some stamps that I um, painted that were in the princess theme. Um, hearts, of course. This is just a little Marie, Marie, Marie Antoinette. Uh, collage paper that I made a tile out of with the glass tiles. Now listen, Google this stuff. I'm not going to put where I got every item, um, but these are called like glass cabochons, and I'm pretty sure I got them on Etsy. I'm not going to tell you the vendor every time or anything because I don't really keep track. When I want something, I tend to Google it or... Um, just go to Etsy and put it in the search engine. Um, all right, so that's what, oh, then, then, then these gems. See, I have to show you guys. I'm going to show, I'm going to grab real quick. Sorry. Hey, Kirby. Oh, man. I thought I had my, um, I thought I had a picture, a frame that I had done, but I don't. But anyway, all this stuff goes together. So let me show. So then these are just, when I was out last, I saw it happen to see these blue moon, blue moon beads. And they're all, there's a frog, a crown, a castle. So they would play with that. So I put it in, oh, here it is. This is, I was going to show you the frame that I did with these. This is all under the sea. So this was a stamp that I had that I just used blue clay with mica powders and I painted tiles with blues and greens and you know and whites and golds and I used gems that now these I can just put this on a piece and it's a tile I consider that a tile you know this says breathe um, again, this these gems are super awesome to just use as a bead. Um, I don't have a lot of these left because I used them all up. Look at my bubbles. I love this. I glued, these are buttons. They're in the button section. And I glued them to little um, mirror pieces. And that makes a super cute tile. These are just jewelry findings that are square and dimensional. So really the sky's the limit you can oh and then i did because this was teardrop shaped i just embedded it into a square so that it'll fit better in a mosaic it's easier for me to 
Um, I did a big Christmas piece before where I didn't embed things and it was just too much random shapes and it was too hard. I know I'm yelling. I'm so sorry. Um, but all this goes together because it's the, the color that I use. So here's another painted one. So all of a sudden, you can work with this. This all goes together, all right? So that is also, I've used wooden picture frames, um, plaques. Um, here's one. This is just has nothing embellished on it. Let's see, I'll go back out. This is honestly, I've shown all this stuff, but for you guys that haven't seen a lot of my videos, um, I did, the only thing that I did on here besides stamping is, a, there's a couple of my applique. These little flowers that I put on here, and that's it. And then the rest is just all mica powders or, you know, some type of a metallic rub. I kept it real simple. The background's gold. It's brown and gold. And I just used pink, teal, and brown. Oops, and that's the design. See how the smiley face, if I would have embedded that in the tan clay, or just stuck it to a, I'm sorry, a piece of the teal clay, it wouldn't have had all those gaps and it would have looked, I think it would have looked better. So I think I should do that. I should just, this is a mold. And I can just take some of my faces and put them on top of a piece of clay so that it becomes a tile. Well, let me see. I almost thought that this was rubbing off my hearts. It's not really snow. It's gold. It's got gold. But this is one of my faves. It's just, um, I did a girls just want to have fun one in this way with just stamping mostly. So even if you don't have a lot of uh, blingy stuff, like this three-dimensional stuff, gather up stamps. Now here's the thing. For stampers, I wouldn't suggest necessarily using your good stamps, the ones that like, I tend to designate stamp sets to clay and I wouldn't use them for regular stamping. So, I mean, I'm no professional, but that's just, um, I think clay has um, polymers in it and it may react and do things to um, other, th other things. Now, again, Google it and see and check. I'm not the, you know, I don't know. I'm not a scientist, so, but I, um, I don't care either. Like, that's the thing with me. I don't really get caught up in all that stuff. If I kill a stamp, I kill a stamp. I have a million other stamps. I'm not gonna, you know, I don't freak out over that stuff. I'm not a collector, so, um, all right, so what else did I want to tell you guys? I hope you're, you're seeing where I'm going with this, all right? So, the next video I do, I'm going to come back after I've completed the tiles that I'm going to use for this, and I'm just going to put this together. I mean, actually, I've, I've done that. I've done it before. Um, might as well just go over this real quick while I'm on it. This is just, this is stuff that I've gathered up that I haven't um, done yet. So maybe the next video will be on this. I can create the tiles. This is going to be all about music. I have this music, these music stamps. I have bu bu la la, buttons. These actually are going to be for. Um, these don't necessarily go in here. This was just some jewelry that I'm going to embed in clay too. I have flowers, red and black. So this would actually go on here. This is ready to go for to be on here, but I think I'm going to do a big mosaic, like a frame. So I want to make a lot of pieces. These are brads. These are music note brads, and I have, there's like three different ones in here. They're black. I have this. This is Mementa, and Michael's used to sell a lot more of this stuff, and I love these, but these will be tiles. Oh, these are are awesome. These were on clearance and I bought two packs of these. These are instruments. So I'm going to make those into tiles. These are just black and red buttons. They're just bling buttons. I don't think they're crystal, so I won't probably bake them. I'll embed them in the clay. I'll show you. I'm going to I'll do this project um, on camera. This is jewelry findings that I love to use. See here's more um, 
spare parts. Black glitter music notes. There's 10 of them. And I won't bake them, but I will glue them onto a tile. Um, more music. I love these buttons. OMG, I'm so excited. All right, so, oh, these are all, this was on clearance. $1.50, and look at all these. I will cut these apart, and I can use this as a filler tile. Um, as a filler, yeah, I mean, I consider it a tile. These are actually glass tiles that are for, I used to do real mixed media, like real glass mosaics, so I have them in there, and that's it. So you just have to start, and I honestly, these I probably didn't get on clearance, but it's a uh, blue moon, and these are, it's a metal chain with, I want to call it like um, Aurora Borealis, um, and I would say these are glass. So if you want to embed these in clay, but I don't use them to embed. I use it to use between something as grout. So it takes a minute for you to kind of accumulate this stuff. And that's why in the beginning when I first started, this is what I ended up with because I didn't have all that stuff. And then little by little, and I look in the clearance department a lot for jewelry. I rarely, I mean, unless like these little, these bugs, I just couldn't resist. And I'll, this is an expensive tile. Like, that's why when I sell this stuff on Etsy, it's, it's crazy. The amount of work that I put into this as far as even shopping for the stuff, um, creating the tile, and then the, the, what I paid for it you know I can't really include all that in there and I mean it is just because I love to do it and sometimes it's really hard to let go of it for me because like this I could probably crank out I could crank these out because they're just stamped I could just stamp, mass produce but the thing is I like the process and I enjoy it and then the lucky people that buy one I mean honestly it's like a one of a kind because I'm not I'm not making a bunch of them, and so, uh, but that's the thing with this, this meat, this crafting thing, is, um, if it became a job, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd enjoy it as much, you know, I don't want to have a deadline, you know, it's hard for me, I don't like it anyway, it's not hard, but I, I, I wouldn't enjoy it as much, so these are all I, these, I have a feeling these green ones, well this was actually on clearance, $1.49, were um, all 50% off. Like I wouldn't have bought these because they're like five or six bucks a piece. But because they, and this one was on clearance, and this is brown. Brown's very, brown's like $8 for a pack of this. So this was $1.99. That's going to be gorgeous on a tile. And they're two-sided, like that would just be gorgeous on a piece of jewelry you know um and then these are the reflections i just love these charm alongs um all right so i think that's enough now listen those of you who are new to my channel please take a minute and go back and look at a few other videos if you have questions because i answer a lot of questions or i try to explain things in my videos so um just you know fyi it's probably i've probably already answered your question in another video all right, so um, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.